Hello, my name's Corinne. I'm going to tell you a story from Rebel Women Sunderland, which is a collection of true stories about girls and women from Sunderland who have done amazing things. Today's story is all about Emily Sande. Jessica Andrews wrote the words and Catherine Robertson did some beautiful illustrations. Are you ready? Then I'll begin. Emily's father travelled across the world from Zambia to study at Sunderland Polytechnic, where he met Emily's mother. When Emily was born, her parents played her Nina Simone records. The deep ache of the tuba spun gold from the speakers and the rich melancholy of Nina's voice wound its way around Emily's tiny body. Emily always knew she wanted to be a musician. She wrote her first song for a primary school talent show when she was 11. A strange silence settled over the school hall when she got up to sing. The words poured like water from her mouth and the teachers blinked in wonder at the complex melodic structure she pushed from her tongue. When she was 16, Emily took the train to London, where she sang gospel in the shiny MTV studios. Stumbling down Camden High Street afterwards, she was dazzled by the bright lights and the glittering promises. She was offered a record deal, but turned it down because she wanted to study neuroscience at university, claiming she needed a backup in case her music career didn't work out. Citing Frida Kahlo, Joni Mitchell, Lauren Hill and Alicia Keys as some of her influences, Emily has since performed at countless glitzy concert halls, festivals and award ceremonies across millions of flickering televisions, including the London 2012 Olympics. Her silky soprano won her four Brit Awards and an MBE. She believes in the power of music to promote social justice and uses her platform to raise awareness of HIV and AIDS and breast cancer. She wrote Mountains about her parents living in Sunderland in the 80s and trying to build a better future. I'm going to have a bed with lots of pillows, she sings, and we're going to build a house with lots of windows. And when we have kids, we'll tell them to remind me of where we are now so we never get lazy. I hope you enjoyed that. That was Emily Sande's story from Rebel Women Sunderland. If you're enjoying the Rebel Women stories, have a search on social media or online. There's lots for you to read. And I'll be back soon with another one. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams.